to this new tutorial on my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make this cute little frog. It's quite an easy project since you only need to know how to do a single crochet. And that's why it's so fun to make for everyone who crochets. So either when you're a beginner or when you're already more advanced at it. You can make it in any color. You can make it light green, dark green, I don't know, pink frog, do whatever you like. And I hope this video will be clear for you. If you get any questions during the video, just ask them in the comments and I will respond to them as quickly as possible. Don't forget to give the thumbs up if you like the video and let's get right into it. You'll need one color of yarn for the entire frog. I used the light green color here and this yarn consists of 60% cotton with 40% acrylic. You'll need a crochet hook, I use a 3mm one, scissors, a darning needle, some thinner black yarn. You'll need a pair of eyes, I use 6mm eyes. And you'll need some stuffing. For making the frog, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this ball shape, which is kind of like the body of the frog. So, Let's grab our yarn and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a magic circle. And if you're not entirely sure how to do this, I have a separate video on my YouTube channel explaining how I do it. And I will link that down below in the description. And then once you're finished with that, you can come back to this tutorial. Okay, so for round one, we're gonna do one round of six single crochet. So we're gonna go into the ring, grab the yarn, pull it through like this. Then we have two loops on our hook. We're gonna grab the yarn once again and we're gonna pull it through the two loops on our hook like this. So that you get this little V here. This is our first single crochet. We're gonna do that five more times. So go into the circle, Grab the yarn, you have two loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and put it through. So that's two. Do that four more times. Four, five and six. So now we've got six single crochet. But you can see that here. So this is our first one, our second one, our third one fourth one, our fifth one, and this is the sixth one. So now we're going to close the circle. Like so. And that was it for round one. For round two, we're going to do six increases. So we're going to go from a stitch count of six to a stitch count of 12. So Gonna look for our first stitch. This one is here. Do one single crochet. Now, because we're gonna do an increase, we're gonna go back into the same stitch we just did the single crochet into. Go back, grab the yarn once again, do another single crochet. So we're gonna do that five more times till we get a stitch count of 12. So go into the next stitch, do one single crochet, go back into the same stitch, one more single crochet. Okay, do that four more times. One, two, three, and Four. That was round two. And uh, by the way, if you are using a stitch marker, you can of course use that in this project. You would always do that in the last stitch of the round. I'm not doing that for this project because it's quite a small project. So I just prefer to count in my head each time. So now we go to round three and round three is a round of one single crochet in the first stitch and one increase into the second. 
And because of doing this, we will go up from a stitch count of 12 to a stitch count of 80. So let's do it. One single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the second. One more time, one single crochet in the first, two single crochet into the second stitch. Do this all the way around till you get a stitch count of 18 or when you land on your marker and I will meet you at the end of row three. I'm now at the end of round three and I've got 18 single crochet around. For round four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch and two single crochet into the third. So let's do that together. One single crochet in the first stitch, one in the second and two in the third. One more time, one single crochet in the first, one single crochet in the second, and two in the third stitch. You're gonna do that four more times till you're at a stitch count of 24 or when you land on your marker. So I'll see you at the end of round four. Okay, I've just finished round four of the project and now I've got 24 stitches around. For round five, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, one in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth stitch. This will make us go from a stitch count of 24 to a stitch count of 30. So let's do it together. One in the first stitch, one in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth stitch. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth stitch. So again, do this four more times and you'll end up with a stitch count of 30 or you will land on your marker. So I'll see you at the end of round five. Okay, so now I'm at the end of round five. For round six, seven and eight, you're only gonna do one single crochet in each of those 30 stitches. So you will do a total of 90 stitches or you're gonna move your marker three times. So I'll see you at the end of round eight. I'm at the end of row eight and it should look something like this. For round nine, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with decreasing. So for round nine, we're gonna do one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second, one single crochet into the third, and then we're gonna crochet stitch four and five together. So, and we will do that a total of six times. So let's do that together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and we're gonna crochet these together. However, we're not going in entirely. As you can see, you see, you see this little V here, and we're only gonna grab the left part of the V. So only the outer loops. So for the first stitch, we're gonna only grab the outer loop and keep that on your hook. And for the next stitch, we're gonna do that once again. Then we're gonna grab the yarn and pull it through these two loops. Now you've got two loops on your hook and finish the stitch like that. So let's do that once more. So one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and crochet stitch four and five together, like this. Okay, you're gonna do that four more times and at the end you will have a stitch count of 24 or you will end on your stitch marker with a decrease. So I'll see you at the end of round nine. 
Now we're at the end of round 9 and for round 10 we're going to do a round of decreases again. However, right now what we're going to do is one single crochet into the first, one into the second and crochet stitch 3 and 4 together. So let's do that together. One in the first, one in the second and stitch 3 and 4 together. Once more, one in the first, one in the second, and crochet these two together. So you're going to do that four more times, and you're going to go from a stitch count of 24 to a stitch count of 18, or you're going to land on your marker with a decrease. So I'll see you at the end of row 10. Okay, so right now I'm at the end of row 10, and for row 11, we're going to do one single crochet into the first, and crochet stitch 2 and 3 together. And because of that, we will go of a stitch count of 18 to a stitch count of 12. So, let's do that together. One single crochet in the first, and crochet stitch 2 and 3 together. One single crochet in the first, stitch crochet two and three together. You're going to do that four more times and I'll see you at the end of row 11. Okay, so I'm at the end of row 11 and we've got 12 single crochet around. And this is a perfect moment where you can do most of your stuffing. You can still do some more um, for the next round, however, that will be a little more difficult. So if you already do most of it right now, that will help. I will use some yarn, which is in the same color, some yarn ends. You can always use yarn ends as stuffing, at least as it's in the same color range. Otherwise, it will look weird when a color peeks through your work. And I'll fill it up with fiber fill. It's personal preference how much uh, stuffing you want. Like if you want to stuff it very firmly, then you use more stuffing. If you want it to be really soft, then you're going to use less stuffing. Okay, I'm done with the stuffing for now. I'll do some more after the next round. But for the last round, round 12, we're gonna do six decreases. And this uh, will make us have six single crochet around instead of 12 as well. So no, no normal single crochet, only decreases. And do that six times. So that's one. Six. Now you can slip stitch into the next stitch. So go in there, grab the yarn, pull it through and also immediately pull it through the loop on your hook. Now you can cut off the yarn, leave some end to it. Like so. And I'm going to do some more stopping. Once you're happy with it, you can close it up. How I always do it is here we did our last slip stitch and then not the stitch right next to it, but one to the left of that one. We're going to insert our hook and we're going to let it come out of the stitch to the right of it. Then we're going to grab the yarn, pull it through. going to do that once more. So 
this is the next one, this is the one next to the next one. Go like this, pull it through. Okay, now you can pull it tightly and we can make a knot by going into the same hole as our yarn is coming out of. Go into the next one, the next stitch and pull it through, not entirely, just like this. And instead of pulling this yarn, which makes the short end um, decrease, we are going to grab the other end of the loop and we're going to pull it tightly so that it really closes up nicely. Now go into the hole and grab the yarn end. And that way it looks really flat and nice. Okay, we're gonna hide the yarn end just by going anywhere in the body. Start your hook, go to a stitch close to the yarn end, grab the yarn end with your hook and pull it through. And then you can cut it off. So here you go. This is our little body right now. And now we are going to make the eyes. For the eyes, we're again going to make a magic circle. Like this. And then do six single crochet into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four. Six. Then you can close it up. Like that. And that was round one. For round two, we're gonna do six increases. So we're gonna go from a stitch count of six to a stitch count of 12. So let's just do that together. So one increase into the first. To the second. To the third. the last one. Now for round three, which is already the last round, we're only gonna do one single crochet in each of those 12, uh, 12 stitches. So let's just do that together as well. Now that you've done 12 single crochet, you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So just pull it through the loop immediately like this. Then leave quite some end to it because we're going to have to sew on the eyes to the body. So something like that. Pull it through. And make one more of these. So a magic circle with six single crochet then six increases and then 12 single crochet around. I'll see you when we've got two of them. Once you have two of them, you can go and attach the little black eyes in them. So let's do that. We're gonna get one eye and we're gonna attach them between row two and three. And I like to do it on the opposite side of where this end is. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I'm used to. So, let's see, insert it here. Like that. 
and you can attach the back to it. So then it will look like this. We're going to do that for the other eye as well. So between row two and three. Like so. Also something I like to do is to cut off this yarn end because it will be in the way with sewing if you're gonna leave it on. So do that for both as well. Okay. And now it's time to sew on the eyes. For sewing on the eyes, you want the inner parts of the eye to be between row 1 and 2, like this. And the outer part, you want that to be between row 5 and 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You want this to end between row 5 and 6. And on this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Between 5 and 6. So, we're just gonna get our first eye. the needle to it and let's put it on the little body and just make sure that the black part is in the middle and that it goes from the second one to one two three four five to here it doesn't need to be this precise you can just do whatever looks best for you, of course. So, first thing I like to do is to go into the stitch next to the one we just did slip stitch into. So, go like this. And just, just check where the um, yarn end lines up with a stitch. So, here is our yarn end. And a stitch really close to it is this one. So we're just going to go into this stitch and I'm going to work from left to right. So I'm going to go into the stitch right next to it, to the right, like this. And then go into the second stitch to the right of your eye. Like that. Always make sure that you put it back in place when you're gonna look at the next stitch you're gonna do. So next stitch is this one. Let's see where it lines up. Sometimes it doesn't line up completely but then just do it in the stitch which is closest. So this hole is the one it's lined up with. Go one into the right of that and Go into the right of the eye as well. So you're just going to do this all the way around. So next stitch, go in between row one and two. This is as far as we go for the eye. Like that. So go into the next stitch of the eye. We're already getting pretty far. So, the next stitch as well, it lines up with this one. Immediately go out the one next to it. To the next stitch of the eye. Like that. Let me count in which row we are. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is already the end of where we're going because we're in between row five and six. So now I'm just gonna go sideways and up again, of course. So now let's see. Let's go into this one. Oh, I'm noticing now that the hole is getting 
pretty small. So we first want to do some stuffing. So let's grab some fiber hill. You don't need too much, just a little. And I like to do that with my scissors. Something like this, just really just a tiny bit of stuffing. Then we can close it up. So it's in the way, just push it down. Okay, we're kind of arriving at the last stitches. Let me do this one once more. And let's, we've already done this one, but to make it extra secure, we can just go into that one another time. Now, make sure that you come out somewhere um, to the right, like this. Okay, make sure it's shaped how you like it. And then you can finish off. And the way I do that is just by grabbing a um, stitch of the eye. Okay, make a loop and go into that loop to make a knot. Pull it tightly. And you can hide the yarn end in the body by just let it, letting it come out somewhere randomly. And finish off. Okay, so that's our first eye. We're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So I will see you when both are sewed on. Once you've sewed both eyes on, it should look something like this. So the only thing that's still missing is the little smile. So let's sew that on as well. For that, you're going to grab your thinner black yarn. I am using embroidery yarn. However, if you don't have it, you can also just use regular black yarn and maybe you can untwist it so that it's be it becomes a little thinner, if you know what I mean. Because if you're going to use a really thick yarn or the same thickness as you, you used for your body, it's going to look a bit less neat. But that's also a personal preference, of course. Okay, so for sewing on the little mouth, we're going to go between row two and three like this and we're gonna keep one hole in between there so that's like two stitches in between the two ends so let me show you what i mean you're going to insert your hook right here between row two and row three you're gonna keep one hole in between you're gonna go to one hole to the right of that. So pull through your needle with the yarn. Now you go back with your needle into this stitch where you inserted the yarn in the first place. But now you're gonna let your needle come out one row underneath that in a stitch a little to the right of that one, like so. And you're not going to pull this all the way through. You're going to leave a little loop, like so. You're going to insert your needle into that loop, pull it through, and that way you will create a little smile. You can just keep it like this. What I like to do is to go back into the same stitch as we came out of and go one to the right. Pull this one and I like to do the same thing. So go into the, uh, underneath the smile okay, and pull it to that side as well. Now you can go back with your needle in this stitch and go back to the entire beginning. Let it come out 
here. Then it should look something like this. Now you can cut off the other end as well and you can make a double knot to secure it. However, don't do this too tightly because then your smile uh, will look a bit less cute, like it will be really tight and that's not what you want. So just gently um, tie it together like that and then do it one more time like so. Now you can cut it off, leave some end to it and you can hide the little ends just by pushing it in with your scissors. So here is your little frog. I hope it all turned out well for you. If you've got any questions still left, please comment them down below. If you liked it, give the thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel and I hope I will see you in the next video. See you.